All right, you guys ready to go? Wait, wait. Yeah. All right, here we go. So I recently took this little guy flying for his first ride in a small plane, uh, and we had his parents in the back seat. So that made the center of gravity pretty far aft, and we were close to the max gross weight. The takeoff roll was longer due to the extra weight, and uh, with the trim set to normal takeoff, the plane actually pretty much rotated on its own due to the heavier tail. So I definitely had to actually push forward uh, after rotation and add some nose down trim, which is unusual. Anyone that knows the Cessna 172 will be aware that it's barely a four seater due to the max gross weight and center of gravity envelope limits. I had done the math of course and as expected we were limited to taking half fuel, which is fine for this short city tour flight that I had planned. But this was a good experience for me as I rarely load the plane this way uh, and it was very apparent in terms of how it felt and how it flew. I had mentally prepared myself for it, but I was still definitely impressed with how apparent the weight loading was with how the plane performed. Once we were cruising, the plane felt relatively normal, but we were pretty low over the city, so I was not about to flirt with slow flight or loading up the wings, pulling any Gs. So I kept it nice and smooth, and the family loved it. Contact Terminal 133 wow, decimal 4 amazing. Airborne. Oh, look wow, look Quick at the CN Tower. Look at the airport look at those people! Wow, that's amazing. Uh, taking kids flying is definitely one of the most awesome things you can do with your pilot license. This guy was a little bit more of a quiet observer, but I still coaxed him into trying the controls for a minute. Alright, so do you want, you want to try flying it? Oh no. <laughs> Just um, a little bit. I'll be right here holding oh, on. <laughs> you sure? Look at how easy it is. Just do that, you do that. Oh and no. That's all it is. <sighs> I'm going to do a turn. If you want to put, put your hand on it while I do it, just so you can feel it. Ready? Put your hand on it, Ethan. There you go. So we're doing a turn. And then pull back a little bit. And you can feel it turning. There it is. Very light of the controls. Then we're going to level off. We're going to go this, <laughs> fly this way a little bit. There, it's just like that. It's that easy. What do you think? You want to try? <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Back when I did my training in the mid-90s, doing weight and balance calculations is pretty much totally on paper, and it was a fair amount of work. But these days, there's definitely no excuse for not doing a quick weight and balance before every flight. There are many great apps, and uh, in my case, I have a custom spreadsheet for every plane that I fly. Most of my flights are with one person in the front, and if I have anyone in the back, I generally try to put the lighter person back there. But even in those cases, I'm usually just sitting outside the utility category. So you can't expect the plane to behave well if you happen to stall or spin. Uh, but that's a whole other discussion. And we don't intentionally do things like that with passengers on board, of course. Anyway, for this flight, it was all about the little guy, so I, I knew we'd be planning to load it tail heavy. But even under what seemed to be normal circumstances, you can get caught outside of weight and balance limits. I was recently planning to ride along with a friend in an old 152. And we're both pretty skinny guys, so you'd think there'd be no risk of overloading the plane. But in this particular case, the plane actually had extended range fuel tanks. So if we'd blindly asked for full fuel, we'd have been over max gross. Uh, but that flight was canceled due to an unforecast storm. Anyway, back to the flight at hand here. Uh, upon landing, wind was minimal, but I didn't go full flaps as I wanted to see how the sink rate was when we were so close to max gross. And as expected, the plane did come down pretty steeply with only 20 degrees flaps out. I actually got a little shallower than I planned on and needed to add a little bit of power short final. And as I started to flare, the heavy tail was very apparent, so I was careful not to over control it. And the stall horn immediately went full on and uh, it was really screaming as I settled in for a nice smooth touchdown. So all in all, this is a great flight uh, despite the light rain, but this is definitely a reminder that we always need to do our weight and balance calculations. We're legally obligated to do it for each flight, uh, but many of us fall into the habit of just kind of looking at our passengers and guesstimating the weights. And you know, you usually can get away with that, but the fact is it's illegal and there's just no point in taking the risk because you might be over max growth, so your CG might be out of limits. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, as usual, I'm a private pilot, just doing my best to stay current and learn. My videos are for self-analysis purposes, but I'm happy to share. Uh, so for more virtual ride-along flights like this, please subscribe. And uh, keep on keeping your flight chops sharp, guys.